Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. So it has been a while since I made one of these, many um, apologies for that, I have been quite busy recently. But today we are returning to the Trappist 1 system and we are going to be making Planet H into a star. So that's going to be pretty cool. So yeah, just a quick um, note as well um, while I'm here. We have recently hit 234 subscribers, so that is crazy. We are going up pretty quickly compared to last month now. So we are on target for our goal of 300 subs before May. So right now we have 24 days left until we get to May since it's the 6th of April today and there's 30 days in April. So can we get 300 subs by the end of the month? Because if we can, that would be awesome. Because my goal is to try and get 1,000 before the, my um, first size comparison has hit one years old on YouTube, so that's my goal, but anyways, instead of getting to a thousand, that's long away, long way away right now, can we get to 300 subs before the end of the month, because that would be awesome, but anyways, enough of me asking for subs and stuff, I'll earn it properly now, let's do the video, so, yeah, I'm not really, don't really, not really the guy who asks for subs much, but anyways, let's get straight into this, so, let's start making this planet a lot larger, so let's um, start off with throwing a good old Mars into it, so, Let's do this, and obviously because this system is very small as well, so if we had a second star or a second object with a lot of mass, yeah, this solar system probably won't survive much, so yeah, that's not good, and wow, this this just looks amazing. I just love com just smashing things into each other in this game, it's just so satisfying. Just look at all of these fragments, like that is just so cool. Look at this, it's just, it's just so pretty. <laughs> literally, I'll never get, uh, or I'll never stop being satisfied with this game, I literally love it. Right, this this game, or, or should I even call it a game? You can't really win or lose, so is it a game? Like, I'm pretty sure the definition of a game is something you can win or lose. Oh, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. So, let's get rid of these Plutos, that obviously didn't work. And this Mars, oh, the Mars has gone, okay. So, let's start throwing more things in. So, we can't eat an Earth yet, so we're going to have to continually eat Marses and get the size a little larger. So, let's surround it with Mars, and let's do that. So, um, spam them in there. And as you can see, all these Mars are literally just getting consumed right now, which is very cool. You can see all those like shock waves going across the surface as well, which is just awesome. It's just amazing. <laughs> Alright, we're getting larger in size now. Can we eat a Venus yet, maybe? Okay, not yet. Okay, this is going to take a while. In fact, let's just speed things up. Let's double its size right now. So it is currently... Okay, it's currently about 5,000. So let's... um. Actually, we can do this. There we go. But if you sometimes when you put the radius and composition on, it makes it larger. It like speeds up time almost. It's cool. But just look at all of the explosions happening on this. It's just amazing. Just wow. It's like it's like completely crazy in here. Just look at all of these different explosions going on at once. It's like thousands of nuclear bombs are being set off on this side of the planet right now. Okay, it's calmed down. All right. So we should be able to eat Earth now. Okay, cool. We can start combining those in. I want to get a lot of mass in here. Okay, there we go. In fact, let's throw one in at light speed as well. So let's slow down time a lot more and then launch one right here. So we're traveling at a few milliseconds a second now. Okay, so let's slow down time a lot more because if we're doing this at light speed, yeah, things are going to be pretty crazy. So let's go on to the light speed option there and press number one and go. Okay, so this thing is traveling at the speed of light right now. We are less than one second. We are literally watching this in less than one second which is crazy so about nine milliseconds a second there so that's pretty crazy but this isn't gonna go well is it it's just it's about to smash into one of these in fact i want it to smash into trappist one h so let's actually remove one of these earths damn these fragments have gotta go they're quite annoying wait that's the wrong key all right there we go you can see all the explosions turned off there so we can delete all of these earths yeah and now it should hit okay there we go so hits play again and our light speed Earth is literally about to hit Trappist 1 H here. So, oh my God! Wow! Wait, did it destroy it? I think it destroyed. <laughs> oh no! Where did that Earth go? Look at all of these rock. Wow, that's crazy. These are all—they're all traveling at the speed of light. These fragments as well. <laughs> wow, that is ridiculous. So, there's a tip for you if you play this game: do not, <laughs> do not shoot things into other things at the speed of light, because. Obviously, it didn't work out there, so let's get another Trappist 1. We can't get another H in. Um, please? Okay, pretend that didn't happen. Y you didn't see anything. Alright, let's go to 1H again. Let's put it to about 10,000 there. And, yeah, that, that last bit didn't happen, but I'll keep it in. It's quite a funny fail. Alright, so 
Uh, why is it whenever I do this thing? Something always goes wrong. Alright, so... Let's go back up and... In fact, actually just make it straight into a gas giant. Just um, so we're not wasting time here. So, okay, let's put it to 30,000. And then we should be able to eat... Um, okay, we can eat Uranuses and Neptunes now. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's start combining them in. Uh, things aren't going my day today, are they? Well, things are not going my way. That should have destroyed Uranus there. That, that's very peculiar. All right, enough of it. Let's just pull it, turn it straight to a star. <laughs> I'm getting mad. Oh, I don't know. All right, so let's um, let's start off simple. So let's do about yeah, 110 Jupiter masses. So I think that turns it into a star. Yes, it does. Okay. So we've got a second star, which is a lot larger than Trappist One itself as well. So one H is now the largest object in the system. But let's go a little more crazy. So let's put it up to 200 Jupiters in mass. And then let's do this again. Okay, there we go. So we've got basically an orange dwarf now, I'd say. I'll say this is orange. Wait, it's gonna be, what about Alpha? Alpha Centauri B is an orange dwarf. Okay, so it's a little colder, it looks like, because it's a little more red. Okay, that's enough. All right, so let's exit the menu. And is it luminous as well? Okay, it's got its luminosity. So how much brighter is that than Trappist 1? Wait, it's going to um, luminosity of the sun. So Trappist 1 is less than 1% the luminosity of the sun. So it's very, very dim. And if we look to um, Trappist 1 H here, um, let's check how much it is. So it's 7% the amount of the sun releases. So this is releasing a lot more energy than that little dwarf star is there. So if we go to the other planets here, as you can see, the light from Trappist 1 H is a lot. Okay, I don't know why there's a shadow there. Oh, that's like that usual glitch they need to fix. So let's quickly save this. Sorry if I'm holding time up and being a bit. Um, I haven't made a video in a while. I need to get back into it. All right. So let's load that simulation right up. Where whereabouts it? Okay, here we go. Okay, it's already affecting some of the orbits as you can see here. But if we go back to Trappist One Hate, I just don't like that shadows there. They need to fix that weird glitch. I don't even know what it is. All right. Anyways, enough of that. So as you can see, it's got a lot brighter shadow on this side now. So let's hit play, and the temperature of this should start heating up as well. So let's speed it up a lot more. Oh, that star's moving. Oh, this isn't going to go well, is it? All right. So, we'll call cool, the energy it's releasing. Wow. Oh, it's pulling everything towards it. This could be a very short episode if it all pulls all of it in at once. Because we've already lost one planet. So, that's not too good. Where's the impact? Okay, so hit it right here. As you can see, the shockwave is coming out. As you can see where my mouse is there. Okay. So, what else is going on? So, hey, where's Trappist 1B? Where's B? Oh, there it is. All right, okay. So let's speed up a little more. Okay, these these objects are getting a lot hotter as well. Two hundred degrees of the water on it's evaporating. Yeah, these, these are all getting very very hot. Okay. So it looks like Trappist One may hit its old planet. Oh, is it? Oh, it's getting close. Okay, so Trappist One D looks like it's so that's going. Oh wow, it just made it very bright. <laughs> well, not brighter, it made it hotter. That's why it's gone blue there. And as you can see, this planet is in a lot of trouble. It's in between two stars right now, and that's not good. In fact, let's just get a quick comparison up as well while we are here. So, yeah, it's a lot bigger than the um, old stars. Let's compare it to Jupiter, for instance. So, as you can see, it's a lot larger than Jupiter. So, compared it to the sun as well, I'd say it's a lot smaller than the sun. Is it? Yep, smaller than the sun. Okay. All right. Let's go back out of that now. And let's hit play again. So... Okay, 700 degrees, so it's getting a lot hotter now. But is it going to go into is it going to go into a Trappist One itself? Oh, it is. It's going in. Oh, it's gone. And it looks like Trappist One. Oh, it, it was a, it was a gas giant there, and then it turned to a star again. It's a lot hotter now. Okay, interesting. Oh, okay. And they're forming a binary orbit there. They oh, they may be a binary orbit now, and these planets are in trouble. Oh my god. All right, so we may have lost Trappist One B there because. Yeah, that's probably been objective. It looks like the other two stars are in the system, and we just lost one of the planets there. So if you look back, we have a fragment now. So one of the planets got too close, and it got shredded apart again. So all that's left is these four objects, or five objects, I should say. Yeah, five. Okay, so we've got B and E, which are left. Okay, so they're the only other two. So it looks like they're gone, but anyways... This is going to be a very short episode, isn't it? So, they're in a perfect binary orbit now. So, as you can see, that's not going to end. And then that fragment is still... Um... Hang on, where is the fragment? Is it gone? Okay, the fragment's been gone. So, all that's left is E. Because, um... No, oh, Trappist B is all the way over here now. So, that's completely gone. So, all that's left is this one. 
And it has water on its surface. Interesting, okay. It's probably going to evaporate if it stays at 150, though. That's pretty crazy. Alright, so... That is that, I guess. I, th I think that should be it, honestly. Like, there's not much else you can really do with the Trappist 1 system. Like, we can um, redo it um, to, um, I guess, um, have a, another test to see if it, anything different comes. So let's um, go into a new simulation again. Uh, please take me to the normal one. Okay. In fact, let's just, let's just um, search it. Okay, Trappist 1. And now let's go to H again. And let's just let's try it with a, a mass of only 100 Jupiters. So let's do that. And it's a star. Okay, now we'll see what happens. So we've already lost one of them. That planet just got pulled straight in there. Okay, I think that was G as well. The G, Trappist G. Okay, oh wow. Oh, look at this. Wow. Look at So another one of the planets got too close to the star. And the star's just torn it up. Oh my god. It's like, wow. Oh my, look at all of the impacts on that. Oh my god. It's like a pumpkin. It looks a bit like a pumpkin with all those lines down it and got the like, white bit at the top. Okay, interesting. That's that's a pretty cool effect, actually. So it looks like, oh wow, there is a lot of... Fr this is even worse than last time. Oh wow, okay. So how many planets are still actually left? We've got C and G again. Okay. So that's that's that again, and then they've both been... Okay, so it seems like we're going to get the same scenario every time. So it's going to pull the main star, Trappist-1. It's just going to pull that and start a binary orbit with it. And then none of, all of the planets are just going to get ejected, it looks like. So, yeah, there's your conclusion. So whatever you do, do not turn a Trappist planet into a star, because you will destroy that entire solar system. So, yeah, that, that's not too good. So, yeah, there we go, I guess. that That's that. Like, there's not really much else we can do with this system, like... That, that's it, like, the system's so small and so, like, insignificant compared to, like, our solar system that not really many things can take place, like, for instance, like, we could just blow the star up and all the planets would just disappear, so if we go into power quickly, explode it, oh, it's supernova and that's that, that solar system's finished, like, none of these objects will probably survive this supernova, well, they shouldn't anyway, they should all be disintegrated, but, okay, they didn't, but you get the point. So they've all been um, reduced to a very small size here, so interesting, but yeah, that's that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this a lot shorter video than usual. Tell me, what do you think? Was this a good idea? I don't know. So I didn't comment, or I wasn't the one who commented the idea, remember, so yeah, was this a good idea? Do you think, was this a good idea? So why do I keep on repeating myself? I'm so weird. <laughs> yeah, but um, anyways, um, if you've got another idea, because... Um, yeah, I gotta say this one was a little short. So, yeah, if you've got another idea, because I'm still um actually need to make a 200 spe uh, 200 subscribers special, but I just need a few more ideas. So, yeah, I'm looking for ideas. I want to see what you guys have, and also should I live stream Universe Sandbox at some point? Because that would be cool. That would be very cool to just have fun and interact with you guys a lot more and stuff like that. But yeah, enough of me and babbling long about who knows what. So, yeah. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Please comment an idea down below because I'm actually um, looking for ideas right now because yeah, I actually do need to get ideas. I'm, I'm running out of ideas. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, what's wrong with me? So I probably could think of a lot of ideas. It's just I'm quite tired right now. So yeah, like I said, I've got quite a lot of things on my um, head right now to do. I've got a lot of work. So yeah, that's not too good. But anyways, enough of me uh, ranting and all this. I really should end the video off because I'm pretty much talking like an idiot right now. So yeah, that's that. So um. Like I said, hopefully you all enjoyed, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.